Hello, so in this video, I wanted to cover creating a DynamoDB table and accessing it in a Node.js app. So for that, I've logged into my AWS account. And the first thing we'll do is set up credentials to call the DynamoDB APIs. So let's go to our IAM and I'll go to IAM service. Within the IAM service, select user and i'll go with my user if it's not there please create a user and then on the user you would see create access key so let's create an access key um we'll access using local code i understand recommendation and accept i'll skip the tagging so now that's created just copy it and now we will come back to our code base so in my code uh this is just a very small boilerplate setup so i'm using dot nvs and in this what we do is we create a dot n file here and inside that we can create credentials so i've created two aws key id and aws secret key access so let's copy that key id here and let's copy this access key here cool so now using these two we will uh, configure aws sdk so we can interact with dynamodb next let's go into dynamodb and actually create a table so i'll just go to dynamodb and while it's loading let's go to tables and then create table so let's create our table as youtube demo and um, every uh, dynamodb table needs a partition key and I'll create, I'll, I'll cover in another video what's the significance of partition key. But for this uh, demo, we can think partition key as our primary key. So we can just give partition key as, uh, uh, let's say, a serial number. So I think it's showing as option. Let's select that serial number and it will be a string. Let's leave it as default settings and create table. So the table is being created. Let's uh, refresh and see. Uh, still creating so the table is active now now let's go back to our code and uh, in our code we'll use a, a aws package to as uh, sdk package to actually help us uh, interact with the apis so the package we're gonna use is this one aws dynamodb client so it's uh this aws sdk let's copy this I link, I'll uh, copy a link uh, in the description for this package. So let's just install it. So once it's installed, we can actually uh, download our client. So uh, require AWS client. So the first thing we need is our client so that we can configure it. And it's a DynamoDB client. So let's now configure our client. So let's make it a new client equals new DynamoDB client. And we need to pass in options. The first option we need to pass is region since DynamoDB is a region service. So let's come back to our DynamoDB and we can see I created it in the Sydney region, which is AP Southeast 2. So let's select that. And the second thing we need is credentials to access the database so it needs access id and secret access key so we'll have them from our uh, process.env with the due to dot uh, env package so process.env and the access key id is this variable and access secret so now these are set up. Uh, let's uh, create a simple function. Uh, since uh, the DynamoDB APIs would be promise based, so we'll run async command. So let's just create a main async function that we'll call. And uh, let's call it. Now that is created. Uh, the way this package works is uh, for every command that you want to run, there's a class exported from the package. So you can just import and configure that class option and uh, send it via client. So let's list the table first. So I'll just do list uh, tables. So we can see the list tables command has come up. Now um, 
we can just do list tables command equals new list table command and i can do a constant response equals await client dot send list table commands let's log it response dot table names let's run this and see what the output so source index js yeah so now we can see the output the value got printed now um, let's take nest let's uh, add some values to the table so for that we have got a command called put so put item command and this will be put item command equals new put item command so it requires table name so our table name is this youtube demo let's copy it and our item would be so we saw that we made the serial number as primary key so if i go to this table so the partition key which is primary key in this case we need that so let's add it serial number and it's a string so s and let's add 001 and we can also add uh, since it's a document database and like uh, we don't need to actually go and create a structure and then we can add new columns from here itself so we can just add a new column name so uh, name as aj now that we have created this uh, we can again do await client dot send uh, put item command let's run our code the code got run let's come back here and let's explore the table to see the value ah so we can see the value got published here now similarly we can actually get the data and uh things like that so for example if i do get item command let's come in this block so we don't keep adding the same data again so uh, constant uh get item command equals new get item command and the table name so the table name is youtube demo and i think uh, we also need to pass the partition key so partition key is required because uh, the way DynamoDB does is um, whatever the partition key it will hash and whatever the hash outcome it will store our data in that partition so it has multiple storage uh, servers within it so I'll, I'll cover that in the theory part so we'll cover everything so do follow for that but in this one we'll just run it and see uh, so I'll pass serial number and uh, the number as 000, zero. It has to be a string sorry s and let's see the value is triple zero one so now i've got the item i've got that so now i can do constant response equals await client dot send uh, get item command then we can just console log so now we can do uh, items as response dot items let's just do this and run the command so we can see the items got printed uh, so that was a quick demo on how to actually uh, create a DynamoDB table and how to access it using our Node.js app. Um, also, like how to use the uh, AWS SDK. Uh, as I sh uh, shown, like we have got uh, classes for each command. Similarly, we have got like even others for batch commands and everything. We have got classes which we can signify. Uh, we'll cover that in the uh, in the next videos. So. 
please do subscribe stay tuned and uh, click the bell icon to get notified when the new videos come up and do let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any thoughts ciao